Hello, over there, I'm Paul Katila Mala, a student at the Aga Khan University. I'm going to talk to you about jigsaw puzzles. The joy in the jigsaw puzzle is in the putting the parts together and coming up with a whole. And these puzzles are enjoyed by all. They are enjoyed by me, they are enjoyed by young ones, and I believe you also enjoy them. Have you ever known that these puzzles have an impact on the child's growth? Now, the child develops both motor and psychomotor skills as he, as he, uh, as he works with these puzzles. They develop a better handwriting. They can be good at drawing. They also learn how to coordinate the hand, the mind, and the eyes. They develop reasoning, decision-making, and even independent learning. As they confidently put the parts together, as they do it wrongly, and persist until they do it right. And finally, they have a complete jigsaw. That is learning. Today, we are going to construct one jigsaw on PowerPoint. Then we shall send it to our learners so that in their own independent time, they can put them together and maybe show you as a teacher. We are going to open our PowerPoint the way you see it. Then we insert a new slide. And for the new slide, we shall have different layouts. For me, the better one is that blank one. With this blank one, you are again going to insert the shapes. And the shape that we are working with today is a square. I want to drag it. I want to drag it there. And for us, it is a perfect square. How do you know that it is a perfect square? On your computer, there is a place called size. You will check if the length and the width are of the same, and they are the same length, then we, we just say, we assume that it is a square because a square is just the same length and the same width. We are again going to insert a circle. And for this circle, let me see, it's there. Now, for a circle, we also have to make it perfect. A perfect circle is just a well-drawn circle where the radius is the same round that is a perfect circle how do you know that mine is here there is that four centimeters and four centimeters this one is too big i want to reduce it to possibly three or even two let me do 2.5 by uh, another 2.5 I think that is okay. When I do like that, we shall get a smaller circle. Then we drag it. We shall drag it into our shape. Once it is in the shape, we press Control D, duplicate, then bring it on that side. That red line tells us that it is at the center, like that. So we have our two circles. What we are going to do, we are going to merge this into one shape. We shall click on that first circle, then hold the control key and click on the triangle. Then we shall come to merge the shapes. Then click on union. We have now another shape. Then we shall have to click on this new shape. Then um, hold the control, 
then click on the second shape. Then we still come to merge the shapes and we subtract. We have a new shape. This is the shape that we are going to give out to the learners to play with. We shall click in the shape, control D three times. We are duplicating. So when we duplicate, we now give, uh, um, put them in different spaces and give to the learners so that they can play with these shapes. And how are they going to play with the shapes? They are going to drag, they are going to rotate so that these shapes fit into each other. Let us try one. For example, we take, we select this shape. What are we going? We can rotate this shape like that. Then after rotating, what do we do? We drag, we are here. After rotating, we drag it, perfect. We go to another shape. For example, we take that one, we rotate, is wrong. Let me use the mouse. We are on that shape. We rotate and when we rotate and it doesn't fit, we continue rotating. I think that one will fit. We now insert. We have our last one. What we do, we rotate to the desired space then. That is the achievement you can do as a teacher and that is the achievement the learners can enjoy. You can try it out and my YouTube page is open. We are going to have more and more videos about teaching. Thank you.